hope you are doing okay. Um, for me, while I've been reflecting on the last four years of my life specifically, I've noticed that the one constant has been my faith because a lot of things have changed in my life and a lot of things are going to change. But the one thing that I've always relied on that's helped me through my setbacks, my uh, barrier, the barriers that come forward, my successes have been my faith. And that has been the thing that's giving me fuel. That's my fuel. For my fuel tank that is what keeps me going that's what lights my spark and that's also been the factor that you know grounds me and makes sure i know who i am as a person so this is the faith that i'm going to rely on for the next years of my life and it's going to help me grow and mold my character into the person i want to be with the experience i'm going to have and it's going to be the thing that's going to mold me into the character i want to be and make sure I don't deviate from the image I have in my head. Entrust your works with the Lord, and your plans will succeed. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. Hi, I'm Angeline, and I'll be graduating from CCD this year. My deeply rooted faith has strengthened me to place my dreams in God's hands. My faith would not be as strong as it is today without the help of my church community Utchins, and my parents. I'm grateful to be part of such a loving community, and I look forward to what God has in store for me. I will cherish the time that I spent in CCD and the teachers who have shaped me into who I am today. Thank you. Hi, my name is Christy, and I'll be graduating from the CCD class. As a part of the class, I learned a lot about faith, and I believe that I'll be able to use my faith in order to pursue my dreams. So I would like to thank Atten, my teachers, as well as the whole church community. Thank you. I am so grateful to be a member of this strong community of faith. Faith has always been such an important part of my life that has influenced the things I do and choices I make. Though I have not exactly decided my plans for the future, I hope that in whatever plan God has for me, I will spread his teachings. Through every decision I make in pursuing my dreams, I will put my full faith in him and act in the ways he has taught us. For me, pursuing my dreams with faith means trusting in him in both times of success and failure, as well as helping others learn of the unconditional love of God. Thank you to all the Utchins, teachers, my parents, and the church community who have helped in my faith formation. Hello to my St. Alfonso family. Unfortunately, my friends and I will not be able to graduate in person this year, but I still wanted to address how impactful this church has been for me. I have been a lifelong member of this church and I couldn't be more humbled to grow up and surround myself with people like all of you. I have created so many friends and connections in this church and I am blessed to have every single one of them. You have all taught me what it means to lead a Catholic virtuous life, which means surrendering my life to God so that he may use me for his glory. I thank every single person in this church for all your prayers and support and for being my role models in my journey of faith. I will keep you, all of you, in my prayers, and more importantly, I need all of your prayers and blessings to lead a humble, holy, and God-freeing life. And most importantly, make all of you guys proud by being witnesses of Christ. Thank you all so, so much. Hi, my name is Joel Sojin, and I'm part of the graduating class of 2020 at Sierra Malabar Church. One way I pursue my dreams in faith is a more intrinsic relation to God with myself, my community, and my family. My dream is to become a computer engineer in Silicon Valley, and it is through my perseverance and faith that I will overcome any obstacles in achieving this dream. Hello everyone! So one of the most important things that I've learned throughout my past several years at CCD is how important it is to have a strong faith in God in our daily lives. Now, as I start on this new chapter in my life, I can bring these lessons of faith into college and other opportunities that I have. As I pursue my dreams, I have no doubt that my faith formation in God will help me with my future endeavors. I know that if I go through any times of great difficulty or struggle, I can always rely on God to help me through it all.
After all, God does have a plan for me. I just need to trust and have faith in him. Thank you for all the support and prayers, especially from my CCD teachers who have helped shape me into the person that I am today. Thank you. I'll pursue my dreams with faith by praying to God and asking him for guidance whenever I need help using all the values and lessons that I learned from my CCD teachers throughout the years. CCD has played an integral role in my life. From when I was young, I was taught that anything and everything is possible through God. This saying has never proven me wrong, and I plan to continue to use this motto throughout my life to serve my community in any way possible. If it were not for my amazing CCD teachers who taught me what true faith is, I would not have been able to reach where I am today. Thank you to all the parish members who have supported each and every one of us throughout our spiritual journey, and I hope you continue to keep us in your prayers. I've been in CCD for as long as I can remember. I began this journey when I was around six, learning about faith through coloring books in the bungalows of our Rancho San Antonio church. Then, when I turned 12, I joined the altar servers, helping out in our community to the best of my ability. Now, I'm taking the things I learned to the real world, helping out at homeless shelters together with the other youth of our church. Although it'll be a bit lonely now that TCD is over, I still plan on applying everything I learned from our classes in my college career. Lastly, I would like to thank all the members of our parish who have helped me along this unforgettable journey. And I hope you continue to keep all of us in your prayers.